Miss Lupe here, welcome back. Today's gonna be our second Art Thursday and we're gonna be doing abstract painting, so let's get started. The materials you're gonna need are plastic wrap, a paintbrush, any paintbrush that you find in your house will be fine, a printer paper, I found a canvas, so that's what I'm gonna be using, and some paint as well. Alrighty, let's get started. So you're gonna choose one color to start with and I chose blue and I'm actually gonna use a lot of blue because that's my favorite color. And you're gonna wanna just drop little droplets all over your paper or your canvas. And you're gonna wanna do that with every color. And don't worry, you're gonna have white spaces in between and that's exactly what we want, so that's okay. Next you're going to want to grab your plastic wrap and you're going to cut a long enough piece for you to be able to cover your whole paper and still have some left over on the sides. You're going to place it over just like this. It's okay if it looks messy. Using your hands you're going to want to press down gently and you're going to do this all around until you spread out all of your paint. I used one of my paint containers to roll around all of the paint and this helped me do this faster. But if you want to use your hands, that's totally fine. And as soon as you don't see any more white spots, you're going to carefully remove your plastic wrap. And you're going to want to crumble it up into a ball so that you don't make a mess. But if you do, that's fine. So this is what I ended up getting, but I decided to add more blue and more yellow. So if you want to add more colors, you can. You're just going to repeat the first two steps. So now this is what it looks like after I added more colors and added another plastic wrap on top. Now I actually decided to use the crumbled plastic wrap that I put to the side and I used it to add texture. So all you're going to do is just press down and you're going to see the difference it makes to your masterpiece. And this is what mine looked like after adding texture. I hope you guys all enjoyed this activity as much as I did. And come back tomorrow so you can learn how to make delicious fruit tacos with Miss Monson. I miss you all. I hope to see you soon.